Greetings, my distant, fading memories. Today we are reviewing Promessa, a game that comes to us from developer and publisher Julian Gushman. Short aside, I am very sorry if I mispronounced that. I really tried my best. Promessa is almost more of an art piece than it is a video game. It's what I suppose you could call a walking simulator. You are navigating through little snippets of memories and fantasy world, and in between those memories and images, you are getting text that is meant to be between a grandchild and their grandfather. Every playthrough of this game is a little bit different. You'll get different snippets of memories, and should you wish to go back and see some of the ones that you may have missed or didn't experience in that particular playthrough, you can go to a scene selection in the menu and select whichever memories or images you'd like to view. On the whole, a single playthrough of Promessa will run you about 45 minutes of your time. And I should note that you should have the 45 minutes to devote to this if you want to do a playthrough because there is no save feature. As I mentioned before, this is more of an art piece or an experience than it is a video game. So all you're really doing is navigating with the left stick and moving the camera with the right stick. One minor word of caution, if you're anything like me and you suffer from motion sickness, this one did get me a little bit, could just be a me problem. Promessa definitely has a distinct look. I don't think I've ever seen anything quite like it. It has this pixelated art, which is contrasted by this very photorealistic light versus dark. Each scene feels very distinct and much like a memory which it's trying to emulate, they feel very empty. It's kind of just the bare bones of a particular scene or place. It's kind of like if someone asked you to draw your childhood home that you haven't been to in 20 years and you could kind of make out where all the rooms are, but maybe you couldn't remember which furniture was in the room or what color your neighbor's house was or if there even were other houses in the neighborhood. You're just focused on that one particular part that was meaningful to you. You go back and forth between these memories with no real linear path and it definitely is meant to mimic kind of the fading mind or the fading memories of an older individual. The soundtrack is also pretty distinct. It's very discordant and kind of unnerving at times. I, when I opened up this game, almost thought I was playing a horror game. I don't actually read what a game's about before I play it half the time, so I did not know what I was signing up for. Between the really unique graphics and the rather unnerving soundtrack, as well as the footsteps from whoever you're supposed to be playing as, it really sets a tone and the presentation in this game is very distinct. Promessa is going to be available on Steam as of October 15th for $4.99. If you're looking for a game that is more of an experience, almost it feels like it would be at home in a modern art museum, this is definitely the game for you. If you're looking for a game with puzzles and all sorts of different gameplay mechanics, this is clearly not the one that you're going to want to play. Going into this game as a blank slate, I was taken aback at first, but once I settled into the experience and figured out what I was reading and that I was learning about this grandfather and their grandson, it really made for a poignant and meaningful gameplay experience. Remember, this is a short game and can only be played in a single burst, no saving and going back to it. However, you do have all of the scenes to select if you want to relive one of the memories. And let me tell you, this is a memorable one. Thank you so much for watching my review of Promessa. If you'd like to see more reviews and previews like this one, hit the subscribe button below and give this video a like. And you can also check out the description box where we have links to our memberships, our merchandise store, and our Discord if you want to join in some of our conversations. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you next time.